Hi there, this is Lady Shell. I'd like to introduce you to my new series, which I'm calling Fantasy Grounds Tips for Beginners. I've compiled 25 tips, each with its own description in the title, so that you can look at this playlist and pick and choose the topics that interest you the most. Or you can just start at one and go through 25. They are all between 3 and 10 minutes in length, so if you don't have a lot of time but you want to learn a little bit about Fantasy Grounds, these tips should be helpful. Note that if you're a long-time user of Fantasy Grounds, you may not find this as interesting. I'm aiming my tips at brand new users to give them a look at what Fantasy Grounds can do for their gaming. So sit back, relax, and hopefully you'll learn something new. So today we are going to talk about using um, when the uh, DM uh, turns on the uh, lock tokens. Because when, when the DM turns lock tokens, the players cannot move all over the screen, you know, willy-nilly. They have to go in a certain um, amount of spaces. It will count your uh, movement rate. So I'm going to demonstrate by having Alyssa, who is a dwarf and has a movement rate of 25, move 25 feet. And I'm going to have her stop in the middle and change direction so that she can end, uh, end in, a, in the spot that she wants to, which is not directly in front of her. So first we're going to move forward. And you can see, see the numbers that are on the screen. And you see I've moved 20 feet forward. And then I release the button. I left clicked on my mouse button. And I just dragged my mouse up to the space. Now I'm going to move diagonally one space to make it 25 feet. So again, I click on the left mouse button and I drag it to the, square, to the square where I wish to end my movement. And then the DM will approve this movement. And I have to go back in my DM screen and then I just have him approve the movement and she moves up next to the wolf. So that is how you would move in a game um, using, you know, changing direction. Because you got to remember, you can't just go through walls. Whoops. That was in the DM screen that I did that. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Anyway, you can't just go through walls. You have to make your movements correct. And so she, if she wanted to go over here she would have to go like that and then she stop and then she move and then she'd stop and then she'd move and then she'd stop and then she'd move whoa moving the map move come on moving the map you have to grab the square again and there she ends there in 25 feet and the dm approves it and she moves Oops, uh, the DM also accidentally moved the mouse wheel, which made her turn. But anyway, I hope that you found this tip helpful, and I hope that you will continue to watch the rest of the videos in my video series. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and I hope that you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.